I want to talk about peptides by giving you a little cautionary tale. I see so many people jumping right onto the peptide bandwagon for fixing some of the basic mechanisms. And they're spending a whole lot of money and a lot of it's waste. We had keys present at our grand rounds this weekend where we had sort of a long COVID type patient, a lot of fatigue, obviously mitochondrial dysfunction. So if you jump right into saying, okay, this patient just needs a whole bunch of mitochondrial support with SS31 and Mod SC and all these mitochondrial peptides, which I love, you're not going to get the benefit. The first thing you have to do, number one, give the cell some energy because it can't make ATP. Use ketones, bypass oxidative phosphorylation, make ATP. That's starting to get the cell moving, doing things again. And then we have to rebuild cell membrane. You're not going to get anywhere with your mitochondrial peptides if you do not have the basic building blocks of the cell membrane. Things like plasmalogens, alpha linoleic acid, and butyrate, your omegas your fatty acids, those are all so critical to rebuilding the cell membrane. And once you're there, now we can start thinking about what peptides we want to add in. 